One of Halifax's homegrown sons is having a career year and just added to his tally in the final game at Mullet Arena. After the Coyotes dump it in, it takes a friendly bounce off the referee as the puck puts itself on a platter for elite sniper Liam O'Brien who whams it home to open the scoring. He just jumps on it, snaps it past Pickard for his fifth of the year as he continues to have a career year now with five Genos and nine helpers. And we do like to have fun with Liam here, but he gets the Coyote faithful on their feet with this one as he's been a fan favorite since he arrived in the desert. Sam Carrick would get one back, but then Michelli breaks in and scores a beauty going backhand to bring the lead back to AZ. Next up, Lawson Kraus gets in on the action, scoring his 23rd of the year to bring the Yotes up two. And after Fogel gets his 20th, Gunther slots one home on the PP to restore the two-goal lead 5-2. Dursey would add an empty netter as the Yotes take it. Their final game at Mullet, 5-2. But it really didn't matter what the score was or that Connor Ingram stood on his head this whole game. It was such a bittersweet experience and also a bit of sour grapes all around, which is totally fair. The Arizona commentators were pretty broken up beforehand, almost to tears with the team for over 20 years continuously saying the NHL gave us a gift and now it's gone. I can't imagine what it would feel like to have an NHL team ripped away from your community. There were chants of Salt Lake sucks breaking out in the crowd, and hey, I get it. Arizona had season ticket holders come out to drop the puck. They interviewed one, and she described the team leaving as a family member passing. Shane Doan was on the commentary where they went on about his son scoring his first goal in Arizona before asking him how oddly, if anyone can coach his son through this change, that it's probably him. I mean, yeah, sure, but do we have to do Shane like that? He doesn't need that. There was also a video of Donor getting his banner back Apparently, it was thrown out after their time in Glendale. That's bizarre. Like, I hate Morello for this whole thing, but disrespecting Shane or any team legend like that is just awful. It reminds me of the story of Harold Ballard using the Leafs championship banners to protect his floor while painting. But unfortunately, that's the way it's gone for Arizona. And with that, their last game of the season is their last one in the desert at least for the foreseeable future. The fans gave the players a standing ovation after the buzzard, and the players saluted the crowd. There's a great shot of the players giving equipment manager Stan Wilson a hug, and I didn't know who Stan was until last night, but he was the equipment manager with the Jets. He made the move to Arizona and was there every year, an important part of the team for 30 years, but it doesn't look like he'll be making the move to Salt Lake. I feel bad for Yotes fans after a season that showed so much promise, and it really does feel like this team could become something great in the next few years, and it sucks for the faithful that that it will be in Utah. They have said, however, if they can get a stadium set up, the Coyotes will have a franchise tag and can make a new team, but we'll have to see how everything goes. But how are you feeling about the Coyotes move now that it's had time to settle in for a bit? Are you still in disbelief? Let us know down below.